Let's what? let's turn our telescopes around to the other side of our galaxy because we are on one of the the arms. And again, remember, our, our galaxy is massive, and there are 100 billion stars, over 100 billion planets, whatever. So now they are like, all right, let's turn around and see if we can see anything on the other side of our zone of avoidance. Because we are on the outside edge, so maybe it's not that convoluted. We turn around. We look to see what we can find, because everything in the universe is propelling itself through the universe apart from each other, which is where we come up with the idea of, uh, you know, uh, dark matter and dark energy. Mm. Because gravity doesn't explain why we're being propelled through the universe so fast. Mm -hmm. So we turn around, we go and we look, and of course we still have a zone of avoidance. It might not be as convoluted as the other side, but now when we turn around we can't see, but all we see is everything being pushed away from this one spot, okay. which is located, of course, on the other side of our zone of avoidance and pushing it all out, which mm -hmm. we can also describe by what we see. So now they call that the Great Dipole. So in essence, there's a giant magnet pushing everything away from it. And, and something else attracting it too. Yeah. pushing her so it would be like it would it. be a north and south pole of, of magnet is kind of what it seems like hmm. but is there like a one-to-one -one ratio between these two <clears throat> things the push and the pull or do they pull a different so again the way that we account for it is because there's something going on on the other side of the zone of avoidance that we can't tell mm. and that is what we account for is black uh, dark matter and dark energy because again we're being propo propelled towards the great attractor Ooh. Faster than gravity and everything else. They it called me that in college, by the way. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. That's that that what happens when you don't shower for a couple of days. <laughs> the great... It becomes a great repeller. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but so they, they, they have taken into account, uh, theoretically, that this great dipole is what's propelling us towards it. And this great attractor is what's pulling us towards it, which kind of counteracts for the dark matter and dark energy that we can't account for. Ooh. And even though we don't know what it is... We can input it into our equations and, and kind of get to where we're trying to get to the, figure out exactly what's going on here. Um, and, and beyond that, um, they took a massive picture of all the cosmic dust and material in between galaxies and planets.